Hey guys, uh, Wojtek here from Fluid Motor Union. Uh, today we have a stock 2016 Mustang GT 5.0 and we're going to be adding some sound to this thing with a Corsa catback exhaust system and we're actually going to show you guys how to install it so let's get to it. Okay, so at this point we have one hanger here in the middle. We have one here that we're able to unbolt using two 13s. And I've already loosened up this clamp up here. So what I'm gonna do is once these two are loose, is essentially take this whole back piece off altogether. That's the plan. Okay, so now we got both of these rear clamps loose. You can tell the exhaust able to wiggle. We've got these two up here loose. Because our, our, our resonator here is connected. So that leaves us with these two in the middle. So we got our back clamps here off on both sides. We've got our resonator loosened up up there. That leaves us with these two hangers back here. Now what I'm gonna do is just spray them a little bit with some white lithium grease from both sides to make sliding them off a little bit easier and what I'll get is one more person to help me like I said take this entire system down as one after unbolting the rear hangers you actually want to take them off the exhaust because we ran into an issue where they were catching on the rear bumper so we actually ended up taking them off all right so now once you unhook it it'll be ready to come down Where's my there you go. And so at this point we got the old exhaust down, we've got our new parts right here, we laid everything down side by side just to make sure everything matches up, everything looks good. We got a nice new shiny Corsa exhaust that looks like it's going to free up the flow of the exhaust and also definitely add some sound to this Mustang, so start installing the new stuff. <clears throat> okay, so since our exhaust is an increase in diameter, they gave us a reducer to use with the X-pipe, so here's the old diameter. And here's the new exhaust system, which is obviously an improvement. So what we're going to do is kind of wrestle these two in here with the help of a hammer, probably. And for this part, we still are using the factory clamps that were on the car. Okay, so now that we got our hardware back in place, I'm not going to tighten it. I'm just going to give it a quick snug so it doesn't fall off on me. So I've got my clamps on the X-pipe so I don't forget them. Now what I'm going to do is match them up to our reducers here. So we got this one side, there's the other side, nice loose fit. I got a spinner jack here to help me. Hold of the back side here so I can make sure that everything up here is nice and straight. So once again, I'm going to go through this and just tighten down these connections, but we're actually not going to torque them yet until we're completely done with the installation. So what I have here is the passenger side muffler, and this system actually does require us to transfer over the factory hooks, so don't, make sure you don't throw them away. All right, now I can take one of the rear hooks that we took off and go ahead and put it back on the car. All right, now we're gonna get up the driver's side muffler. It's the same deal. Go ahead, slide her in there.
All right, so we have our mufflers and essentially everything installed besi besides the exhaust tips. And like I said, I didn't tighten everything down over here. What I'm gonna go through now is kind of walk through everything, make sure they're straight down the line. And then we're gonna install the tips and do one more check to make sure that everything lines up. All right, everything definitely looks a lot better now, so I'm gonna put the tips on and see where we're at. Okay, so we're almost there at this point. What I have left is our two shiny exhaust tips and two more clamps. So what we're gonna do is fit those on here, go through everything, make sure everything's torqued down and tight, and then we should be able to hear this thing. Okay, so now that we have the exhaust system on the car, we have the tips and I'm happy with where they are. Everything looks straight and everything lines up. What we're gonna do is fire it up let the car warm up. Obviously, we're going to hear it, check it for any leaks. Once the exhaust system warms up, we're going to shut the car off and go through all the clamps and all the connections I made and make sure everything's still tight after it got hot. So, let's do it. <clears throat> Alright guys, so now that we got the exhaust system installed, we triple checked every single clamp and everything we put on the car. Everything is nice and tight. One more thing we got left is a solid test drive on the car. And then we are going to bring it in one more time and make sure that everything is good and tight. So if you do uh, have an exhaust system that you want us to install, something that you bought yourself, you want us to help you find something, go ahead and hit us up at Fluid Motor Union or just go ahead and call the shop and we'll be able to help you out.